Item number, SCP-820, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, Foundation MTF, Methyl Heads, will regularly treat areas prone to SCP-820, with such pesticides as might be utilized by farmers native to those areas. In addition to this, media coverage in the affected areas will be controlled to encourage citizens to remain indoors and in a safe place until swarm season has ended. A focus in media coverage during the off-season will be sensationalist stories designed to increase everyday paranoia and form habits in viewers conducive to personal safety. A small group of SCP-820 specimens between and individuals is to be housed in Bioresearch Site 176 with research aimed towards data expunged. These specimens are to be housed in a secure translucent terrarium, exposed to sunlight via skylights located in Containment Wing Beta. Access to the specimens will require at least Level 3 authorization, as well as accompaniment by a member of the permanent SCP-820 research team. Description SCP-820 is a periodically manifesting swarm of locust grasshoppers that appears in certain areas of in Peru, colloquially known as Las Langostas Pintadas, or the Painted Locusts. In addition to crop and property damage, as may be expected from a locust swarm, the vicinities visited by Las Langostas Pintadas experience heightened accidental death rates due to an as-yet-unexplained effect theorized to be a pseudo-hypnotic mental state caused by the constant color and motion of SCP-820. Victims of this effect, known as the R effect, in honor of the late Dr. R, experience a strong sense that they are somehow protected. Quote, Everything is perfectly fine, you're totally safe, and nothing bad can happen. This leads to vastly increased recklessness and a dramatic drop in self-protective behaviors. The effect lasts an average of hours post-exposure. SCP-820 was brought to the attention of the Foundation in 1970 when an investigatory MTF was dispatched to Peru to investigate the deaths of nearly 70 people in a bridge collapse incident. Engineers' reports showed that the bridge structure had been visibly unsafe for several hours before it collapsed, leading Foundation scanners to wonder why so many people had been on the bridge at the time of collapse. MTF Paprika Tuxedo discovered the nature of SCP-820 when data expunged firearm safety. During an incident in a swarm of SCP-820 manifested on a battlefield during a civil war in leading to approximately casualties. Foundation media plants reported the high casualty rates were due to the use of illegal chemical weaponry, specifically data expunged. SCP-820 has been shown in testing to increase the likelihood of accidental death by nearly percent for the duration of exposure and the chance of personal injury by nearly percent. D-Class exposed to SCP-820 have shown willingness to place themselves in highly dangerous situations with no fear, including walking onto active live fire ordinance testing zones and entering containment this section removed by order of 058. If the SCP-820 swarm can be raised properly in containment, it may be helpful in preparing personnel for work with Keter-level SCP objects. Addendum It appears as of 2000 that SCP-820 has extended its range as far as data expunged. Containment procedures are currently not effective in preventing SCP-820 exposure. It is the recommendation of a research team headed by Drs. Van Heysen and Klein that containment procedures for SCP-820 be re-evaluated for effectiveness against at least 240 Califerin genera that are not vulnerable to current Foundation methodology. Lesson complete.
If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-819, Vital Suckers, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>